Hey everyone, this is Waseo Organization discussing the topic NavCoin DAO coverage. For the overview, NavCoin is launched in 2014 and it is an open source blockchain based proof of stake cryptocurrency based on the code of Bitcoin Core but with a slight twist. One modification brought to this coin was the addition of a subchain to the main blockchain. The subchain called NavTech is what mixes and anonymizes transactions on the NavCoin blockchain. One of its main characteristics is that its design is public, thus nobody owns or controls NavCoin, enabling everyone to contribute. This method of governance allows it to have a community initiative, which means no pre-mine or initial coin offering. Therefore, it is a platform that's run by its users, for its users, with an incentivized network of nodes verifying payments all around the world. All in all, NavCoin is an open source project that has a lot of key features to enhance the potential of the coin, thus leading it to become one of the top 100 coins on coin market cap. All in all, while it belongs to an older class of cryptocurrencies, it has nevertheless stood the test of time quite well. Over the years, it has implemented various upgrades, features, as well as improvements, and thus the platform has seen consistent growth. Waseo completed a light audit on some of the legal and regulatory risks that NavCoin DAO members may face. For the legal and regulatory risks, having an unregulated currency that is not bound by customs adjustments and fluctuating political changes can be seen as a positive technological development as well as a negative challenge upon our criminal system. Navcoin is a cryptocurrency that has initially been designed to be anonymous, untraceable, and simple to use. The ability to perform transactions in an obscure, unclear, or unintelligible manner is known as obfuscation. However, while the creators did not create these features with any malicious intent in mind, but inter alia is an important function to contribute to the token's fungibility. The absence of leaving a digital footprint when making transactions may also have various negative impacts. Some of the general benefits pertaining to the anonymity of transactions are the confidentiality of information as well as the security of transactions. Furthermore, within any civilized society, privacy and anonymity, including privacy of transactions, have long been considered as a fundamental right of every human being. On the downside, anonymity raises concerns as to illegal transactions, thus making it very difficult for law enforcement agencies to identify the culprits. The black market and the dark web are big users of cryptocurrency, and criminals obviously value their anonymity as much as they value the ability to send vast sums of money anywhere in the world with a few taps on their phone. Additionally, less transparency can affect the trust of users since they may not be able to see currency generation, inflation rate, and other transactions conducted on the blockchain. For voting risks, within the NavCoin DAO system, there is no limitation as to who can vote on different proposals. Anyone who is staking NavCoin can be eligible to vote. When a block is staked, the stakes will cast the vote. Therefore, there is no minimum staking amount requirement or master nodes for NavCoin. In essence, you stake, you vote. While at first glance, this can be considered fair play, some critics may argue that a certain threshold should have been put in place, which would in effect reflect the actual involvement of voters. For instance, in other DAOs, members should possess a certain amount of tokens before being eligible to vote. Enforceability of smart contracts One of the main legal issues pertaining to nearly all smart contracts lies in their blockchain provenance and NavCoin DAOs, smart contract is no stranger to this matter. In this regard, the enforceability of such smart contracts become very problematic and somewhat controversial due to the decentralized nature of DAOs and the inability to identify the location of transactions. In the same vein, there is also the problem of jurisdiction when it comes to disputes concerning smart contracts. For instance, which jurisdiction will prevail in such situations? 
the one where DAO is located, or the state in which criminal activity has been detected. Some states have taken the lead in recognizing smart contracts, while others are still arriving at an understanding of the technology and its application to their society. When joining a DAO, the member should not only be aware of the technical but also legal and regulatory risks. It is important that DAOs organize to develop and implement compliance roadmaps to achieve sustainable growth in line with legal and regulatory frameworks. Waseo is establishing a nonprofit association to build a trusted environment where compliance seeking DAOs can interact with competent service providers to support them with the novel legal and regulatory challenges that DAOs face. These light audits will provide a basis for DAOs to begin to clarify the risks that they face and work as a community to solve them. Disclaimer, the information for this audit coverage was sourced from public sources. The audit should not be construed as investment or legal advice. Again, this is the end of the presentation, Waseo, to enable the decentralized future. Thank you so much. Thank you.